Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Scorpio, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, moon, rising. Okay. <laughs> Sun, moon, rising, Venus and North Node. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Let's see, Scorpio. Action energy. Oh, you are you have protection. You are protected. Oh look, abundance. <laughs> I wanted to show up for you, Scorpio. Yeah, we'll take it big time, of course. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So you're attracting lots of abundance, you know. Uh, kiss open doors. I feel that you know new opportunities. This is like an overall energy. Uh, soon will uh, manifest uh, in your life it's like I'm getting for some of you you might be changing your current place of residence or you might be getting a new car or you might be you know something to do with um, with opening essentially a door as this card is it's stating absolutely but when it comes to like everyday situations I, i'm getting very strongly for some of you scorpio that you might be indeed thinking about changing your current place of residence or you're thinking about maybe selling a car and getting a new car i'm seeing that happening to you for you i should have said for you but this is a card of opportunities what i am getting also when i look at this energy i feel that um there were many endings and many new beginnings recently it's like you've experienced that kind of energy and i feel that you you went through a big big transformation something happened and changed in your life and it's like certain doors are closing and that gives us gives a space for the new ones to open and that's essentially that kind of energy that it's showing up here through those oracle cards but that suggests that it's incredibly positive change that it's showing up for you yeah you see we have energy of endings here and that's what i was getting so something here indeed kind of changed might have even end ended but i'm getting this energy of transformation you know certain doors close and new ones uh, are available here to to be opened to be opened yeah mm -hmm. we have action energy there is something to do with communication I feel that you share very strong energy it's like a telepathic energy with someone and it's I feel you being very enthusiastic actually very p positive about something you want to take action you have all the energy and you kind of believe in yourself that you can achieve it and you will we have protection card I don't know why but I am getting for some of you if you have like you know a computer it might be very beneficial for you to have something like a protection system <laughs> you know to be installed um, of course this is a kind of you know everyday life but with this energy I'm seeing you know that your that your guardian angels your spiritual guides, your, your ancestors and spirit are protecting you. You are protected. It feels like nothing here will affect you at all. And look, we have this energy of abundance. So you are attracting enormous amount, enormous amount, excuse me, enormous amount of abundance and prosperity to your life. And it's all because I feel that you made the decision to kind of make certain changes to kind of end certain cycles here and to kind of maybe even change approach regard regarding s particular situations and um and i feel it's very kind of empowering and you feel all this enthusiasm and you want to take action you have all the energy and yeah let's do it let's do it. i feel that it's the right time and i'm getting that you know it's like you want this opportunity to come to you 
you want this you want to be given a certain chance here and that opportunity will bring abundance to your lives so something really very very beautiful and positive uh, it's going to manifest in your life super cool that's a super cool energy <laughs> um let me take a look at the numbers okay we have um january as a month so something significant might have happened in the past in the month of january okay i have uh 22nd of january 25th of january 17th of january also number 34 and 36 might be of significant might be someone's age that it's quite significant for this whole situation or in your life so please take it how it resonates okay let's see scorpio let's see scorpio so we have ace of swords queen of pentacles what's going on with scorpio i see conversation with a feminine energy conversation that will bring clarity something here will be understood have the lovers gemini energy and we have magician wow you are manifesting a relationship scorpio you may be dealing with virgo we i have i have very strong gemini energy but you are manifesting a relationship ace of swords queen of pentacles for some of you, there will be a very, very important communication that will happen very soon, within uh, six days. With someone, with your, um, if you have like a special person, person of romantic interest, I'm getting that there will be a very kind of clear heart to heart communication will take place. And it will bring uh, so much uh, a clarity to the situation and also kind of stability. If you are single, you're manifesting a new relationship, loving relationship with, with with someone who is very down to earth, who's very practical and who has so much to offer. For some of you, if you are in some sort of kind of situation, love related situation, I'm seeing, or oh, mm, here's the thing, I'm seeing that your friend who might be having problems in relationship they it's like they will come and they was they will try to share something with you and will ask you for an advice show me more for scorpio two of wands we have a four of swords okay and we have a knight of wands and we have two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck we have the fall so scorpio might be dealing with aquarius i also have aries i'm getting very strongly for some of you scorpio that you are healing you are healing your heart it feels like you 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 took a step back in order to uh, recharge your batteries and heal from a certain situation I feel this is a, like a love related matter it feels like you will face a choice here Scorpio because someone here it's coming back someone who is very skillful with their words who know exactly what to say someone who is very passionate but this is someone who's been very inconsistent and very indecisive, who's been very in and out in your life. This two of pentacles suggests that 
it feels like th there will be a choice or you will face a decision what to do with this connection. I feel that you are healing from that particular love-related uh, situation. With the Two of Wands, I'm seeing you still kind of thinking about this person. It's like you... F I feel that you still have feelings for this individual. The thing is that, you know, this we're talking about this a little bit immature kind of player energy. They are thinking about you. There is something about the telepathic connection that you might share with this person. It's like you feel each other in a sense of, for instance, you might feel, let's say that this person kind of, it's not in touch with you and it's been like two months and you kind of know that soon they will text you or soon they will kind of, you know, come back. Mm -hmm. This is a very strong connection. You might be dealing with your twin flame, but this is someone here who needs to kind of uh, level up. I feel this person at the moment, it's like their vibration, it's not, doesn't match yours. But it feels that they are coming back here. And if you, for instance, uh, met someone new, okay, and you are dating this person, this person will come back and it's the, it will be like a choice between this new um, kind of love related matter situation and this person that's been in and out in your life. This is someone who is a runner. They are chasing and then they are running. Mm -hmm. The full, this is this new energy. You are entering a completely new chapter in your life that will bring so many opportunities, possibilities and chances to achieve uh, success, to attract abundance and prosperity to your life. So this is beautiful, beautiful energy. But I see a choice between two people. If you, if you, if you haven't met this person, the new person, uh, it feels like you're going to meet them very, very soon, I would say. next month this person will fully man kind of you know appear in your life or even earlier to be honest can be at the end of this month <laughs> dilemma dilemma between two people let's see love life Show me love life for Scorpio. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Mm -hmm. The Empress. Queen of Wands, Justice, Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles and King of Cups. You might be dealing with Virgo, Gemini, Strong Virgo, the Devil at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Uh, Taurus, Scorpio, I have also Libra, Capricorn. Okay. All right. What I am getting here very strongly, Scorpio, that in this section of your reading, we are connecting here with someone who might have put you in a third party situation. Okay, we have a Queen of Wands. And that Queen of Wands, in that particular case, Scorpio, might be uh, this person's relative. I'm getting with next to the Empress, I'm getting that this person might be, uh, for instance, uh, s someone like a mother figure or 
grandmother, sister, strong feminine energy that holds a big, big kind of influence on that person. If you are in a relationship here with someone, Scorpio, I feel that with the Three of Swords, you are not particularly, and I am very gentle with my words, I feel that you are unhappy with the fact that this person is like the external influence that might be quite significant and might be affecting your connection here. This is very specific. This is about, for some, some of you that you might be in a relationship, established connection with, with, with uh, your partner. But I'm getting very strongly a strong feminine energy, even maybe even two feminine energies. It might be sister, mother, you know. Please take it how it resonates, but this situation doesn't make you happy. And I feel that you kind of see it as... Um, it's like this is unfair and you might feel that they are confusing your partner with the two of swords i feel that your partner this is a very specific reading uh, might be a very hard working individual and, and and it's like they are focusing on work related matters or their job they work but I feel that there is something about the situation that still it's not kind of making you happy because I don't see this person trying to con to kind of give you a certain explanation or, con or kind of detached from that energy or even kind of set a very strong and healthy boundary between, you know, your relationship and their influence on that relationship. It's like this person doesn't want to kind of be involved in the... It's like they're coming from the place that within time everything will just settle, you know, and every, settle down and everything will be fine. Well, it feels like you are not happy with the Three of Swords, with that situation. And overall energy, we have the devil. And I feel that some sort of kind of frustration is growing and growing. And you might see them as they're quite manipulative because devil is a, it's a master of manipulation right and look it's like someone it's showing oh you know i have these good intentions but behind the scenes they are there to confuse you and i feel that's what's happening here with regards to your partner scorpio maybe that's how you seize the situation if that's the case well that's the confirmation i'm getting here from from this from this reading Three of Pentacles, yeah, the children might be involved. I feel that you are very, very invested in that situation. But something doesn't make you happy, okay? Which is not okay, obviously. Um, if, 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 it's, if it doesn't resonate with this message, what I am getting here very strongly, that, um, again, we are connecting here with someone who might have put you in a third party situation. Um, they started entertaining someone else while they were connected with you, Scorpio. But for some of you, that third party might be a case that at, at the time, someone here started prioritizing something else over this connection, let's say professional life, career, finances, habits, family, friends, relatives, uh, habits. Again, yes, I mentioned habits, lifestyle, right? And it's like they made it a, as a priority. What I am getting very strongly here, Scorpio, that this person broke your heart. And I feel it was really uh, particularly emotionally painful because you saw expansion and growth. You saw that this connection can grow into something beautiful and very profound. But um, I am getting that, you know, at the end you were treated without fairness and justice. And this person confused you. The thing is that you're dealing here with someone who's confused them, so that they are confused as well. It's like they are confusing themselves. And the, the case might be that indeed there are people like the external influence in the form of people just, you know, talking to their ear. I'm getting to individual. 
maybe th there was a situation that for instance their friends kind of convinced them to choose another way the thing is that this individual is still invested in this connection emotionally with the three of pentacles it's like they want to kind of work with you to to heal this three of swords energy this this emotional uh, disappointment that they cause and i feel that at some point you might face a double-edged sword situation you know being at the crossroads what to do should i give this person a chance or should i not have they really changed I feel that at the moment you might be focusing on your work related situation it's like you know maybe you know the case might be here as well Scorpio that this person already arrived and, and and you are in that situation at the moment but it's like with the two of swords you don't want to deal with it anymore uh, maybe anymore yes but I'm getting at the moment therefore you might be telling this person listen I am busy you know I have so much work to do uh, you know I, I can't deal with it now I need more time and yes that's what I am getting the thing is that you share very strong I'm getting telepathic connection with this person and I feel that you do have feelings for them but it's like you can't forget what happened here and I feel that you have your reservations you are very cautious when it comes to this person and you don't believe them fully the devil energy as an overall energy for this reading suggests that if that's the case you might be absolutely right because if this person is claiming that they've changed i'm not quite sure about that and i'm going to be very very honest because devil it's still this toxic energy there's something toxic about this person's uh, perception of relationship their attitude um, this is also very kind of selfish self-absorbed energy I am you know the center of attention I am the most important and you know yes I, I have the skill that I can manipulate people and kind of make them feel very important but at the end of the day I will achieve what I want yeah that's that's the reality of that energy it's a manipulation and if this person is claiming or if they will come and they will claim here Scorpio that they've changed with the devil mm -mm. I I will take it with the pinch of salt don't dismiss the red flags listen exactly what they're saying I feel that it's like you know I, I don't want to tell you what to do of course but it's like I feel that this is like a guidance from the universe to kind of pay attention to the red flags to exactly how this person composed themselves what they telling you how they telling you how they react on a certain things because i feel that you are dealing here also with someone who's very controlling but they do want to kind of you know work with you because this is a teamwork so it includes you to work with you on that situation because at the end of the day they are still attached to you they are still invested in this connection But at some point, this person wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And and I, I feel that that wasn't possible. But it's like this is someone here who can be incredibly charming. And you know, they have this kind of thing about them, that X factor. They can be um, very, very good looking and um, very passionate. There is, you know, there, there are certain people that, you know, uh, we feel that they are irresistible or just, oh, you know, we, we have a butterflies in our bellies when we kind of are with them or when we look at them even, you know, there is this kind of magnetic kind of a chemistry that we've experienced with them and that's what this particular card represents someone who who might feel that has it all but it's like they don't know how to use it in a right way 
that's why this energy also can represent this this kind of karmic toxic uh, uh, energy hmm. Well, the main message here, Scorpio, is that, you know, if this person will claim here that the things change, that they've detached here from someone, that they really want to balance things out with you. Yeah, I feel that they do. But this is someone who is still confused and they are still quite manipulative. I feel this person hasn't changed. Or they hasn't changed fully. Let's say it that way. They went. They 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 didn't go uh, through transformation, like a full transformation. Maybe something changed here. Indeed, circumstances. Absolutely, I feel that you did. You've changed. You went through transformation. You see things differently, but they are still in that energy, toxic energy. Show me the near future for Scorpio. Seven of Cups, King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, High Priestess, Four of Wands. You may be dealing with Pisces. You'll have options here. Not only in love, but with regards to many areas of your life. I'm getting very strongly that it, it is crucial for you to listen to your intuition because you are highly intuitive at the moment. And in the near future, it will just become more kind of a, uh, more stronger, that intuition. It's like that inner voice is guiding you in a certain direction. There is an advice here. I have so much advice throughout this reading. It's like to, in order to make a certain decision about something, it might be crucial for you to take your time, to not rush into things with the Knight of Pentacles, to kind of find out uh, more about the situation with this King of Swords, because King of Swords is all about the clarity, all about the detail regarding facts, in order to make. Um, you know, to, in order to make a uh, best decision here. And I feel that um, that intuition is guiding you in the right direction, but there is also this kind of emphasis here uh, put when I look at this card on taking time. Don't rush into things, take it slowly, you know, find out uh, or kind of, you know, uh, take your time in order to make best decision for you but there is something here about clarity and conversation about spoken word it's like to pay attention to uh, to it's like to be very attentive kind of i don't know if i can say it that way to to be very kind of um to pay attention to detail with regards to certain communication or conversation that will take place because that will be crucial and then I feel that you will make a very, very good and precise decision that will bring so much happiness and joy with the Four of Wands. Because it might be a continuation of that energy. Let's say that this person is coming and it's like, you know, they will present themselves in a certain light and you will feel that... Uh, they will present you with some sort of kind of choice or they will say listen maybe we should get back together and then i'm getting here very strongly that you know you might be thinking like this person here you might be trying to figure out should i should i not what i could what i should expect because here is the thing when you look at this imagery this person doesn't know what it's what it's hidden uh in this cup and it can be a snake right therefore there is a reason why we have a king of swords next to it because there is a need for you to pay attention for instance if it's about them to what they're saying to gain more clarity about the situation and to kind of you know get all the facts about 
them and in order to kind of be sure about your decision there is a need for you to kind of you know to not rush into things um there is this suggestion suggestion maybe not a need but like a suggestion to to take your time to not rush into things and to listen to your intuition and you will make a right decision because i feel that you know you don't know what to expect from this person if that's about them if it's not about them it's, it's just the same kind of energy that can be applied to any area of lo of your life essentially the main message is to listen to your intuition to not rush into things and to find out more about this choice or those kind of options that might be presented to you i feel it is strongly here connected with a with a relationship because we have a four of wands this person that you might be dealing with uh, might be your twin flame you might be seeing 11 11 a lot but um doesn't have to be but i feel that it is something to do with with uh, relationship in general but four of wands you know can also indicate for instance a situation as as simple as property you know or just overall happiness four of wands here suggests that you will make a right decision at the end of the day because the outcome will be very positive but i feel it's very important for you to kind of pay attention to detail and to take your time in order to figure out what's going on exactly when it comes to this particular situation okay let's see the outcome for scorpio show me the outcome please show me the outcome for me the outcome for Scorpio we have a wheel of fortune ten of pentacles and six of swords eight of cups at the bottom of the deck okay um, Scorpio you might be dealing with Sagittarius I have another Scorpio so you might be dealing with another Scorpio Aquarius Taurus Leo well it feels very strongly here Scorpio that you will make a decision and I'm seeing you choosing happiness joy and opportunity here to build something very significant with someone else meaning a very strong and stable relationship will of fortune suggests in your outcome here that uh, things will change for the better this is also a card that uh, suggests that good luck and good fortune will be on your side. So if things have been particularly difficult, circumstances will change like 360 you know, degrees in a completely different way. So you will experience happiness, joy, fulfillment. Ten of Pentacles, it's like you will be given here a blessing to to create a beautiful long-term relationship with someone but it might require from you to detach from someone else six of cups it's moving away from a certain situations in order to bring balance harmony and to move into more calmer waters with regards to or times with regards to a certain situation and we have an eight of cups an eight of cups is an overall energy for your reading it, su it suggests that uh, you might indeed decide to walk away once and for all uh, from certain situations or people that disappointed you and uh, no longer make you happy I'm seeing you kind of making a certain decision and it's like this decision will be based on logic and also emotions so in a perfect balance for some of you I'm seeing you being in a very happy new relationship and it might be a case of uh, that uh, that indeed 
you might uh, decided to change your current place of residence in order to have this new beginning. It's like you're leaving certain kind of chapter in your life behind and you're walking, walking away from it. It doesn't mean that you are not feeling emotional about it, Scorpio, because we have this Ace of Cups. So, you know, emotions, love and feelings are still there, but they are like left there where they belong to. You know? There will be a choice. You will face a choice between two people, two situations. And this person here that caused this emotional upheaval, who might have put you in a third party situation, they are going to, uh, to reach out. They will kind of try to convince you that both of you can work on this situation and things can get better, that they've changed. I will take it again with a pinch of salt. Uh, but I feel that, you know, um, you have also a new person here showing up. You're manifesting a new relationship and you will make a decision because you will have options. And I feel that at the end of the day, you will make a certain decision here. Uh, that might require you to completely kind of, you know, you walking away from something in order to build something stable somewhere else you know so please take it how it resonates but overall with the eight of cups uh, i'm seeing you making a decision to once and for all kind of walk away and or detached or distance yourself from certain situations and people that are no longer make you happy because at the end of the day uh, with your energy, your enthusiasm, you know that there is something better waiting for you. And there is. And these good times are on the horizon. And I feel, you know, your goal here is to be in a very nice, stable relationship, to have stability and to be happy. To be happy. And I feel that's where your mindset is kind of, you know, this is where you direct your focus on and this is truly what you want and you are manifesting it big big time scorpio i will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time i truly appreciate you scorpio have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day and once again thank you very very much for being with me love and light till next time take care bye